Today, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm trading the Australian dollar as it pivots right around a key level. I'll also show you how to trade fake outs, which have become my go-to pattern in the Forex market. Now, before we get started, if you are looking for a broker to trade Forex crypto commodities and indices, look no further than Prime XBT, which is my new partner. You can get up to a $7,000 bonus on your deposit. Click on the link in the description here on YouTube, or if you're on the website, click on that link that says brokers, and you will see the link to Prime XBT on that page. Now, the great thing about this is they do offer 100x leverage, and they also don't require any kind of application, okay? All you have to do is come over here to the website, you know, click on that link in the description here on YouTube, fill in your email, fill in your password, and register. That's it. You're in, you've got an account, you can deposit and start trading right away. And lastly, for anybody who deposits $500 or more, I will give you lifetime access to our trading group where I provide daily videos on five to 10 markets. You can see my trades in real time. And we also talk about exclusive trade setups in the Forex and crypto markets. All right, so let's jump into today's analysis on the Australian dollar. So this is AUD USD. And you can see here on the daily time frame that we have a range that had developed over the last few months here between March and the first half of May, okay? Now, what's really interesting about this so far is you can see that back here, we had the Australian dollar trade below this level for over a week, and then it reclaimed this area right here around 65.85, okay? So this was range support, and you can see we got the, the move below it. We got the reclaim right here on this candle, retest as new support the very next day, and a very intense rally, okay? So this down here is called a fake out. You'll also see it referred to as a deviation, but it's essentially where the market forms a range, okay? A very well-defined range like this. And you get at least one day, you know, but typically you get like a week or so trading below this area. And then you get the reclaim here on this candle, retest as support, rally. Now, so far this week, we could have a potential fake out up here as well, okay? This could become a fake out as well for the Australian dollar because you can see that this is our range uh, resistance or former range resistance right here around 67.85. And so far, the market is trading below that intraday. But here's the key, okay? Just like back here, you need a daily close back above or below the key level in question. So back here, we needed a daily close above followed by a retest as new support, okay? So in this case, we would need at least one daily close below 67.85 followed by a retest as support. And preferably, I'd like to see at least you know, one day, preferably two days though, below this level to confirm that this up here is a fake out, just like this was a fake out down here. All right, so this is gonna require more time because what you'll notice is yesterday, the market did close above this level. Okay, so, so far we do not have a confirmed break back below this level simply because yesterday on Tuesday, the Australian dollar closed above 67.85. All right, so technically it is holding this level here on a daily closing basis because today's candle has not closed yet. We still have about six hours left and a lot can happen in six hours. So here's what I'm looking for with this pair. All right, if the market holds above this level, all right, let's map out the bullish scenario first and then we'll talk about a bearish scenario. But if the pair holds above this area this week, all right, we likely get a bullish pin bar from up here and that could take the Australian dollar back here toward 68.70 and potentially up here toward 69.85 up there toward like 0.7. Okay, so if I zoom out, you can see exactly why these two areas are key. We've got a lot of highs and lows right here around this level. And also if you saw the weekly forecast that I put out, we saw the market close above this area last week. But what I said over the weekend is a daily close below 687 would set up the move down here toward this level. So we have the close below. And so far this week, we're seeing the retest down here. All right, so the bullish scenario here for the Australian dollar would be a daily close above this. So hold above this area this week, in which case we're looking at a move back here toward the 687 area and potentially up here toward the next key resistance right around that 0.7 area. All right, so this would be the bullish scenario, but only if the Australian dollar can hold above 67.85 this week, okay? So take profit one, take profit two, all right? So that's what you're looking at on the bullish side. Now, if the market were to close below this area around 67.85, get a sustained break below here, then all of a sudden the market is back within this range and we start to get a confirmed fake out just like we had a fake out back here. Okay, now in this case, the target would be down here at the range lows, all right, right around 65.85. However, there's also a secondary area that we can find using what's called visible range on TradingView. So if I turn this on, what this shows you is the volume by price. So typically when you see volume down here at the bottom of a chart, right, that's showing you volume by time. So it's showing you the volume for each candle, 
Whereas the visible range like this, also called the VRVP, is showing you the volume by price. So this right here, okay, this little spike is the highest volume level during this consolidation. And a lot of times areas like this will serve as key support and resistance. So in this case, what I would be looking at is if we get the bearish scenario playing out, all right, I'd be looking for a move down here toward this area. All right, so this would be my first take profit if we get the bearish scenario. So right around like 67 or so, right around that region, that would be the first take profit down here. Second take profit would be down here at the range lows. Okay, so T1 and T2. Okay, so you've got both bullish and, and bear scenarios mapped out here, and it all hinges on 67.85. Okay, these range highs up here. Do we get the confirmed fake out, or can the Australian dollar hold above this level this week? Okay, that's what it's going to come down to. But again, this one does need um, at least the next day, maybe two, in order to determine whether this is going to become a fake out or if bulls can keep this rally intact and target these higher levels. All right. Now, lastly, I want to show you the 12 month chart just to kind of finish up here, um, just to show you something that is a little bit concerning if you're looking for the bullish scenario. So this chart is the Australian dollar. However, it's looking at the 12 month chart. So each candle on here is one year. Okay. So it takes a very long time for one of these candles to form, um, which makes this chart extremely significant when you get a key supporter resistance level uh, developing. Okay. So looking here, we can see that this area right around all these lows and closing prices here on the, the 12 month time frame is going to be significant. And that comes in right around 0.7. Okay. So what you'll notice is that back here, okay. In 2003, we got the Australian dollar closing above this level. Since that time, this level at 0.7, okay. Right around that area has served as support on a yearly closing basis. Notice how even back here on this candle, we got the wick all the way down here, the market closed back above. Okay. Now notice what happened last year, All right, This candle closed below the 0.7 area. And so far this year, we are seeing a retest as resistance. Okay. It's holding below it. So close below retest as resistance. So this is kind of one reason why I think you have to be a little bit careful with the bullish scenario, uh, with the Australian dollar. And furthermore, you know, like I've mentioned on Twitter a lot, uh, the S and P 500 is coming off of resistance and the Australian dollar does tend to follow us stocks. Okay. So between this and also the stock market, I think you have to be a little bit careful, um, you know, looking for that bullish scenario. But once again, it is really going to come down to, you know, where the market closes around this level this week. Um, I would prefer that we get a fake out. And the reason for that is first of all, fake outs can be um, extremely reliable, just like the one back here. Okay. And also the fact that the risk to reward here is a lot better on the downside, because even though this is your first take profit, really, if we get a fake out up here, I think we're heading back down here toward these range lows. And I would much rather trade a higher probability setup like a fake out like this down here toward these levels, than try to long a very aggressive pullback like this up here toward these levels, especially when this right here was actually a mini fake out above that 6870 area. All right, so it's going to take some more time here, but I would prefer to trade the short setup um, for the Australian dollar, but only if we get that close below 67.85. All right, I hope this video has helped today, you know, show you how to trade the Australian dollar and also how to trade these fake outs. They are incredibly reliable uh, setups in the Forex market. So I do hope it's helped. If you did gain something from this video, be sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you get notifications because I am putting out updates like this every single weekday. Trade well out there and I'll talk to you again soon.